Hello, today I'm going to tell you about a new feature that I've added to my automatic form resizing example application which is to allow you to stretch and shrink forms on the fly by dragging with the mouse. And you can find this as the fourth article in my series at isledogs.co.uk automatic form resizing. For those that are not familiar with automatic form resizing, the idea is to automatically resize forms so that they fit the current monitor size and resolution. And if you change either the monitor or the resolution, they will adjust accordingly. That's both the form size and the contents of those forms. To do so requires one line of code in the form load event. And that line is resize form me, when me actually refers to the current form in use. And I've got a whole series of articles on how that, that code is actually applied. And as I said, there's a series of four articles and also several YouTube videos where I've done presentations to various access user groups. For example, then the series of articles, they start with isledogs.co.uk automatic form resizing one, and then there's pages two, three, and now four. And two different videos, one done to the Access Lunchtime group back in 2021, and another one done earlier this year to the Denver Area Access User Group. And you can have a look at those in your own time. The new feature is stretching and shrinking forms using automatic form resizing, and it works in a different way. And it's a new feature added in version 3.90, which I've released at the end of December 2022. And the idea, as I said earlier, is that forms can be resized by dragging the form border with the mouse. Nothing unusual about that. Also, the form controls automatically are resized and move proportionately. Let me show you that in action with my example application. Now, when the application opens, it gets to a main form like this. And in design view, you can see the effect of automatic form resizing. It's actually designed to be that size there. Change this to form view, and it expands to fill the screen vertically. And depending on the shape of your monitor, it may leave some space at the side there, which it has done in this particular case. And if I just show you one particular form that's done, I'm using that. It shows you a number of different sizes of control there and shows you then that each of those, okay, will work with automatic form resizing. Let's change it back to design view and let's go back to form view. And as you can see, then everything's adjusted, not only in large, but move proportionally. But all of that normally happens automatically at form load. This, feature, this form has an extra feature where I can actually add zoom to enlarge or shrink the form slightly if I wish to do so. But those are, that is covered in my earlier set of videos. So let's go on to the one of the new features in this latest version. In this one then, the form is not resized when it's loaded. The size in form view is exactly the same size as it is in design view. So if I now put my mouse over the border and just now hold the left mouse button down, as I drag the form to a larger position, then you can see everything is moving proportionately and it has been enlarged by just about one and a half times at the moment. Let's enlarge it still further. And you can see that both the width and the height are increasing proportionally as I do so. Let's take it this way. And you can see that as I drag it that way, it's increased the height of the form as well. It's done that to keep it in proportion. And I've enlarged it so much that I'm losing a little bit of the text there. Let's bring it back down again. And I'm just going to save a bit of time by restoring it to its original size. I can also shrink that form as well, if I wish to do so. And I'll explain why I just unticked that box in a second there. Right, if I shrink it down, it works reasonably well, but automatic form resizing tends to work better when you are enlarging forms from the design resolution, not shrinking them. And as I go still further down, you'll see I'm losing a little bit of the bottom of the form, and it's starting to cause distortion that the header is larger than it should be in proportion. Go still further down like that, and you can see the effect is getting worse. Now, it's unlikely that any user is really like to do this very often, but you can see that's not worked as well. Just bring it back to its original size. If I want to, I can prevent the form from being shrunk. If I tick that checkbox there, it's now going to stop me doing that. I can still enlarge it, as before. I can enlarge it still further. I can shrink that down until I get to its original size. And once I reach that original size, this warning comes up. 
and it won't let me get any smaller and it automatically then just puts it back to where it was before. And when I restore the original size then, what it's doing is closing and reopening the form, which is very quick there. So that's the new feature. There are several other new features in the latest version as well, which I'll describe in some later videos, but that's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. There'll be more videos to follow, and if you found this one useful, please do click the like button, leave a comment, do subscribe, you get notification of new videos and I would be very interested in any topics for future videos in this series. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.